Remember when summers felt endless? Now, whole months just vanish. Here's the weird part. Your clock didn't change. Your brain did. There are three big reasons for this. First, proportion. When you're 10, one year is 10% of your entire life. At 40, it's just 2.5%. Same 365 days, but a shrinking slice of your mental pie. A smaller slice feels faster. Second, novelty versus routine. Your brain compresses repetition and stretches newness. Your first bike ride, your first kiss, these are packed with new data, so your brain records more. More data makes that period feel longer in hindsight. But adult life becomes a loop. Same commute, same screens, same stores. Those loops get compressed. You look back and whole weeks are a blur. Third, attention. When you pay deep attention, you create more bookmarks in your memory. When you just skim life, multitasking, scrolling, your brain saves fewer bookmarks. A thinner memory file makes time feel shorter. So how do you slow it down? Add intentional novelty. Schedule micro firsts, a new cafe, a different route home, a new recipe for dinner. These small changes create new memory anchors that fight the blur. Switch from passive to active, cook instead of ordering, sketch instead of watching. Creation leaves a thicker memory trace than consumption. And monotask. Pick one thing. Remove notifications. When your attention deepens, time widens in your memory. Here's the twist. You don't actually want your days to drag. You want them to count. The goal isn't slower clock time, it's fuller mental time. So if every year feels shorter, don't chase the clock. Chase novelty, attention, and creation. Fill your life with firsts, and your time will feel bigger again. Because time doesn't speed up, we just stop noticing it. Start noticing again.